How's it going YouTube? It's APOC. Welcome to another Learn Studio tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do this up and down sunglasses effect using the sunglasses template in Lens Studio. It's way easier than it looks. I have a script that's going to help you out a lot. For just a quick overview of how it's done, if you don't want to watch the whole video and you're a bit of an advanced user, you can just go here to our tweens and look and see that I have these tweens set up. So there's a move tween, a rotate tween, and a tween chain for both of those. It's running all at once. It's moving up six on the Y, rotating negative 40 on the X, inverting that for down back to zeros, zeroed out. The controller is just uh, calling those tween chains, and the script looks like this, and you can find it in the description. All right, let's get into a new project here to start from scratch. So we're going to go to sunglasses template and discard this one. All right, once you're in the template, you'll see you should have this controller open. If not, just click here and you'll see it in the inspector. So the first thing you want to do is choose your frame type because we're going to need to use this for the rest of the tutorial. So make sure you know which one you want to start with. I'm going to go with aviators. They're just my favorite. So we're going to go with that. Just make sure you have your frame type change to that. Now click down here below your object so you don't have any objects selected. And we're going to add a new object, an empty one. Then below that, we're going to add another child object, and these are going to store our tweens. I'm going to call this one our tweens, and we're going to start making the up tweens. So now we need to add in our tween manager. I should have said to do this first. My apologies. But go to add new, hover over helper scripts, tween manager. Give it a second to load in here, and you'll see some stuff pop up on the screen. That's how you know it's added just delete the examples that are underneath that. So you just click the arrow next to it. Now move this up above our tweens. This is why you should have added it in first. You would save yourself this step, but make sure it's above our tweens. Otherwise it's not going to work. Now in our tweens under the up tweens, we're going to add a component script, add script, go to underneath tween, tween types, tween transform. It's going to be our move. And to save us some trouble, we are just going to add in the object. So click on scene object, go under camera, head, sunglasses, anchor, and click on the glasses that you have. Don't go into the child elements of this, just the parent. I'm using aviator, so that's what I have selected. Click OK, and now we're going to copy this, paste it. Then we're going to add in another script, add script, tween, tween types, tween chain. This is going to connect these two. Now you want to name this one glasses underscore move and change this from a from two to just two. Change this to two as well. This one is moving us up and down, so I'll play it automatically and loop it for you just to show you what's happening. It's going to move it up about six. I find that's a pretty good one. You can obviously play with these numbers yourself and the time. If you do a really fast time, it's going to go much faster the shorter the time is. So change it back to one second. I think that looks pretty good. And uncheck play automatically and turn off the loop. Same down here. We're going to name this one glasses underscore rotate though. And change this from move to rotate. The type from move to rotate. I'm going to loop it so we can see what's happening. And I'm going to do negative 40 as I find that looks pretty good. You can play with these values yourself as well. And you can see this, this looks pretty good there. And obviously you can play with the time here as well. So we're just going to uncheck play automatically again, loop type none. Now for your tween chain, we're going to call this glasses underscore up. And our scene object is actually where these tweens are. So we have to go to our up tweens for this one. Make sure you check all at once. So they're all playing at once. And we're going to add in two values here. One, two. Glasses underscore move is our movement one and glasses underscore rotate is our rotation tween. you get the names from here so now that they're playing all at once you can see when it's playing automatically it does it we're going to loop it a little bit and you can see that's what it looks like you can actually do ping pong here and i'll show you what it's going to look like coming down as well but you want to make sure this is set to none and play automatically is off cool now you just want to duplicate this and rename this to down tweens Sorry if I'm going a little fast as well. Uh, if you need to pause the video, feel free to. So now we're going to change this to zero. We're going to zero everything out. Just make everything you change zero. So the end here is zero. 
zero and change this to glasses underscore down. Now, if you play automatically, nothing's going to happen because everything's already at zero. So you just have to trust me that this is going to work. And click down here again so nothing shows up in the inspector. If nothing's selected, add another object. This one we're going to rename to controller. If you want, you can name it anything and add a component script, add script, and add a new script this time. Click on that script so you open up this code editor if you want to paste it in, or you could have just dragged the script from the description into the Lens Studio. So now I'm going to paste in our script that I made. And you want to click on your controller, and you'll see a few options here. The up object is up tweens, down is down tweens, tween name are the tween chain names. So on this one, it's glasses underscore down, that one's glasses up. So all you have to do is oops, add these in. So we have up tweens and then we have down tweens. And it's glasses underscore up and glasses underscore down. So now you'll see when she raises her eyebrows, it's going to go up. And the next time they raise their eyebrows, it will go down. So let's watch her raise them again. They should come down. So there you have it. That's how you do it. If you want to edit any of the values, you know, the script is editing no values, really. It's just simply calling those two tweens um, on the eyebrow raise event. So you don't have to worry about any values getting interfered with the script. Um, and that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions or you think I went a little too fast, you want me to redo the tutorial, go ahead and comment that down below. Um, and yeah, any requests for future tutorials, drop them in the comments below as well. Thanks for watching. I'm Apoc. Goodbye.